That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? Okay, and what, what actually happened toward the end? How did you get out of this relationship? Well, that was through the help of the, that was through the help of my parents and the court. But first my parents, because after he took me to my eye doctor, I was told by my father that I'd been reported missing. So then my mother showed him, the, my mother told this guy, the paper, police report paper. Mm -hmm. Right. And that is when he got the message that I've been reported missing. So he got threatened to you either take my daughter or, and come to jail or give me back my daughter. So he gave me back to my mom. Now I learned not only from my own experience, but from great, amazing friends out there. Think with your mind and your gut, not your heart. If something in your gut is telling you that you're being manipulated, or he's controlling, he or she's controlling you, that like you're the property instead of a lover, run. I know it's easier said than done, but nobody else wants to end up this in the situation that I did because it's not very pretty. Just run. It's not worth it. Give the, the audience some suggestions in terms of what they could do in order to to uh, bring themselves out of uh, abusive relationships in, in, in terms of, you know, getting away and, and possibly, you know, having a better life because this isn't the life for them. And it's, and it's a great deal. Yeah. It's fortunate that you, you, um, survived. There are others that may not, uh, yeah. who haven't. So what, what do you suggest? I would actually suggest to have a backup plan. This is what I learned for the course. Make sure that you have a backup plan. Make sure on your phone, could be Android or Apple to have the SOS messages in case anything happens. So at least you press, I think it's on the Samsung, you press the home button three times. It sends a message of SOS and takes photos and video and audio of what's happening. Um, I would suggest to go to your local, could be men's shed. I don't know if you have that in the US. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something like that. I, I, know. The male, I know these women that do become abusive as well. Mm -hmm. so make sure they have a contact with them or write everything down. So at least, you know, what, like hide it in a safe place. If you have a journal, keep it at work of what happened. So at least you have a documentation and you can show someone in case law enforcement don't believe you. And also, I just want to add that whether you're blind or whether you have any type of impairment or anything of this sort, abuse, you know, it's, 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 it's just it's open to everyone. So I want to tell you that I appreciate you coming on here and just sharing your stories to let every, everyone know that it's, abuse is not just uh, concentrated, as I mentioned in the top, it's not just concentrated to the, to the sighted world and not to, to boast about being abused. Just, I'm glad that you were able to come and shed, shed some light and in and, and hopes of, you know, letting everyone know that, well, like you said in the end, about uh, people who, 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 who you feel may be abusive, the things that they say and the things that they do in, in order to not get into that relationship. So with that being said, Triana, do you have any last words of encouragement? I'm quite sure you do, that individuals can, can, um, can take and, and use in their daily lives. My encouragement is don't give up. You'll find the right one. If you want to continue to love, go for it. But I, all I'm going to say is if you are if you feel abused in any type of way and your gut and your mind is telling you to leave and the only one that's telling you no is your heart, the hardest part is you're going to have to listen to your mind and gut and you're going to have to leave. Don't give up on love, but give up on those who want to manipulate you and have it only their way and your way means nothing. Wow. Uh, this wasn't one of the questions, but what, what other ways can if people are going through certain things like, like, like abuse and what have you, what other 
things that you that you know of or you can suggest that can uh, assist them in uh, coming out of, of, of the situation in, in their, you know, that they're in? Because some people may say, well, go and tell somebody or blah, blah, blah. What do you, what other th ways that you suggest? Because I think that what you're doing is a, a very, uh, you know, very good thing in terms of writing down your thoughts and put them into uh, poetry form and, and uh, whatnot, because everybody loves to read. But what other ways do you, you know, feel that, that would help out people who are going through that? Well, one really important thing is to talk about it. And if that means like going to a therapist, because there's talk therapy, there's also other kinds of therapy um, that, that the therapist can recommend for you based on whatever it is that you're going through at that time. But talking about it is really important and getting it out of your system, writing about it, um, writing down how you feel, but not just writing down about the abuse and how you feel, but also work on changing how you feel. And the way you do that, this is a trick that I learned um, when my husband abandoned me. He abandoned me homeless one year because he's bipolar and, um, and his bipolar depression hit him so hard that he just left. He didn't even say goodbye. Um, and I just woke up one morning and he was gone. And so um, during a 33-year marriage, that tends to knock you over. And what, I, what got me through that and what I learned is this. Every day, write down your, your statements of I am. I am happy should be your first one. I am strong. I am worthy. When I wrote down I am worthy the first time, I cried. I mean, I cried every day for days when I first started doing this. And you want to write down 10 different affirmations every morning and write each one 10 times because there's a part of your brain that believes what you tell it. And so you've been brainwashing yourself all this time saying that I'm, I'm not worthy because mm -hmm. I've been abused. If this person feels this way about me, there must be something wrong. And so now you have to reverse that by, um, by retraining your brain and re-brainwashing yourself. I believe that. That definitely makes a lot of sense. Cause, uh, like you said, uh, the brainwashing, when people tell you certain things over, over a period of time, but then you have to recondition yourself to think otherwise. So that definitely, I understand that wholeheartedly. Uh,